Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if Google Chrome keeps crashing with different pages you're browsing or with different extensions. And this tutorial is without uninstalling Google Chrome itself. Now, I would always suggest doing that if you can. That would probably be the best method and then just reinstalling it. However, if you don't personally want to do that and you want to try something else first, this tutorial will be for you. So we're going to jump right into it and we're going to start by opening up the start menu and you want to type in Chrome. Best match should hopefully say Google Chrome. You want to right click on it and then you want to left click on open file location. Now there should be something that says shortcut in here or type should be shortcut and it should have Google Chrome right here. What you want to do at this point is right click on it and then select properties and now you want to go to where it says the target over here and you want to use your arrow keys to get all the way over past the last quotation mark. So now you want to do a space one time. So this is really important. You have to do a space after the last quotation mark. And then do minus sign no minus sign sandbox. Then you want to hit enter. It says you'll need to provide administrator permission to change these settings. Click continue. So there you go guys. At this point I recommend closing out of here. And if you have any shortcuts on the taskbar, I'd recommend right clicking on them as well. Unpin from taskbar, and then go back in the start menu, type in Chrome again, right click on it, pin the taskbar. So now we basically have reset it, so hopefully it should relaunch how we set it up to be. So again, that minus sign is very important. And there you go, guys, Google Chrome has opened up successfully. So again, I would highly recommend if you can, try and restart and reinstall the browser first before doing this method. But I have found this is a workaround, so I just want to put that out there. But I do hope this brief video was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.